Canadian scientists have made an incredible discovery in Manitoba, the fossil of a giant fish that lived millions of years ago when the province was covered by the sea. Mikhailo Prestupa has that story. It's a creature from Earth's distant past, a time before the Ice Age, several ice ages, when Manitoba was a tropical sea and massive sea creatures ruled. This is one of the fish's massive jaws still in the ground. Uh, this is one of the big teeth coming out. Paleontologists have unearthed a sea giant here called Xyphactinus, a fish predator that looked like a piranha on steroids. It measured six meters long and nearly the weight of a half-ton truck. It hasn't seen the light of day in 80 million years. When you start to really think about for 80 million years, you know, this was long before those pyramids were built in Egypt, the continents were different. 80 million years, what is it? To try to get your mind around that block of time. The sea giant swam a saltwater seaway that once ran through North America during the Cretaceous period. The mega fish is a huge scientific find for the Canadian Fossil Discovery Center in Morden, Manitoba. The museum hopes it will help establish Manitoba as a world-class center for prehistoric sea creatures. Doing for Manitoba what dinosaur fossils did for Alberta. They have dinosaurs, we have marine reptiles, and we think that there's a complementary story that can be told to help people understand what ancient life looked like on Earth, uh, what life looked like before history was even recorded. But right next to this unimaginably old sea creature is another find, a marine reptile called a mosasaur that appears to be locked in a battle to the death with a siphanctinus. As the big fish jaw had attached to it with the rock uh, the mosasaur's flipper, which is very interesting in that it indicates that the fish is kind of eating this mosasaur. Researchers just stumbled across the fossils during a routine walkabout, not far from where this mosasaur was found. We've found fossils 100% of the time we've gone out looking. So we know that the hills outside of Morden are abundant in fossils. So the center says it's only a matter of doing more research to dig up what it believes could be dozens more sea giants in the years ahead. Mikhailo Prostupa, nope, CBC News, near Morden, Manitoba. Oh,